Are you ready for this adventure? Let's go. What's up everyone? Welcome to the next video. Welcome back to One Strange Adventure. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, for a while now, we've been sharing our adventures with you guys, and we love being able to do that. Uh, because we share our adventures with you, well, I've had to learn a lot of new skills. Uh, some of them being video editing, uh, vocal editing, music, um, learning new programs such as Premiere uh, and other things, Photoshop, things like that. And so what I want to do is I'm going to start a series that shows you a little bit of a behind the scenes of how we actually do that. And so this first video is going to be all about the equipment that we use to bring our adventures to life. Now, don't worry, we're not changing the focus of our channel, just rather giving you a behind the scenes look. All right, so on the opening sequence, you saw a couple of different clips. Those clips were actually recorded with three different cameras, and those cameras are what we take on our adventures. First, we have our iPhones. Everybody in the family has an iPhone or some type of smartphone, some type of device that is capable of producing uh, pretty good quality video. So we make sure we capture pretty much anything that we see uh, throughout the course of our adventures. The second camera that we used to shoot some of those clips was actually a GoPro 7. And so we use our GoPro for a lot of things. It does shoot in 4K, uh, but unfortunately when you are in 4K mode, it doesn't have the hyper smooth stabilization um, the GoPro, I don't have to worry about focus either. And so that is what I typically do all of my vlogging with. Wherever there's a video that I'm talking, I'm typically talking into a GoPro. The third camera that we use is actually the Canon T5. And so this will give us a really clean picture uh, in HD. Unfortunately, it doesn't support 4K. It is an older camera, but the purpose of this is making do with what you have and just getting started. And so with the Canon T5, you can still get that nice depth of view uh, with the blurred out back that you can't achieve with the other cameras. If I'm shooting with the Canon, I'm typically shooting on a 18 by 55 millimeter lens. And so that gives me the widest view for the camera lenses that I currently own. Uh, I do have plans of upgrading the camera at some point, I do have plans of upgrading the lenses at some point, but for now, this is what we have, and it's actually what I'm shooting on right now. I'm gonna play that open sequence one more time, and I'm gonna see if you guys can actually guess which camera recorded which clip. Here it goes. All right, there you go. So. Can you guess which clip was recorded with uh, which camera? Was it the iPhone? Was it the GoPro? Or was it the Canon? And so now I'm gonna show you which camera filmed which clip. I think you're gonna be surprised on a few of them. All right, so were you surprised by any of those? Um, was it any surprise that the iPhone probably produced the clearest picture of them all. Uh, the GoPro is super simple to use and the Canon creates uh, a great depth of view and uh, gives you a really nice shot if you're looking to uh, create some B-roll for your videos. Now, one other piece of equipment that I always make sure I have with me is an external microphone. And so something that I've learned uh, making YouTube videos is you have to have decent quality video and even better audio because if you're going to buy one piece of equipment to get started, since you probably already have a smartphone, I would say get an external microphone. And that's what I'm using right now. I'm actually using a Rode external microphone. Uh, it does really well. It'll give you good clean audio and it comes with a windscreen that you can put on there in case you're outside uh, shooting some. And so that cuts the wind out tremendously. All right. Well. I hope you've liked this video. I hope it's helped you out. I hope it's inspired you to go out and start creating some content yourself. And so you probably already have the tools that you need to create some good looking videos, whether it be on YouTube or some other type of social platform. Just get out and get started. 
All of the equipment that we talked about today, I'm going to add in the description. I'll put links to it to uh, Amazon, and then that way you can go and check out the equipment that I use a little bit more. There will be a few additional things that I'll add in there, just because I do have some uh, grips that I use for either the GoPro or the Canon. Well, I hope you liked this video. Uh, if you did, make sure you smash that like button. If you really liked the video, make sure you subscribe. And until the next strange adventure, keep making your own.